the Belgian designer Dries van Noten's women's ready-to-wear catwalk show at the City Hall in Paris was dominated by colourful prints and brocade. So very rich fabrics, very, uh, when you look to costumes from the Belarus, you have kind of a lot of influences coming from all over the world, which is also typical for my work. You have a lot of fabrics, you have a lot of prints, but they put them in a very free way together. It's very, uh, just, on first view it looks whatever one, but at the end you see there's a real system behind it. Van Noten made his name with avant-garde creations in the 1980s, so it was to be expected that there'd be some incongruous pairings of colour and texture. <music> Lady Gaga appeared on the Thierry Mugler catwalk, making it a must-see event for many in Paris. Nicola Formichetti was showing her first ready-to-wear women's collection for the French designer. The American Zach Posen took inspiration from the natural world for his ready-to-wear collection. Colors focused on lots of green and blue, and the model sported iridescent eyeshadow, just like a beetle. Well, the, the main idea and the theme of the collection were biomimetrics, looking at nature, how it inspires uh, my clothing, patterns in nature, the construction of different um, animals, insects, how we can take that into the clothing, and playing with slight sculptural elements on clothing that is in full relation to the human body. There was also lots of fur, leather and crocodile, and though Posen is usually known for his short hemlines and frivolous cocktail dresses, this season he featured floor-length gowns on the catwalk. The inventive Indian designer Manish Arora had a pleasant problem to overcome. He wowed Paris several seasons ago with sequins and metal, so this year he added a touch of magic. The sense of humour has to be there, always with my work, and there has to be the sense of colour and the sense of happiness, but put together in a more sophisticated way was my aim, and that's what I was trying to do. Aurora was recently appointed artistic director at Paco Rabanne in an effort to revive the brand that helped define futuristic fashion in the 1960s.